Hi everybody, I'm Holly Davis and I am here with Jen. Today we're doing the third edition of the Church Street Chat. Hey, thanks for being here. This is my pleasure. <laughs> All right, so your full name? My full name is Holly Marie Davis. And favorites, uh, your favorite color? Favorite color is kind of this yellow green, better known as chartreuse. Nice. And your favorite genre of music? Okay, it's gonna sound weird, but I grew up with bluegrass and I really do like the sound of the banjo. Nice, mm -hmm. I like it too. Let's do it. Um, and your favorite Netflix or TV show to binge watch? Honestly, all I ever watch is HGTV. Awesome. Like Tiny House Hunters. I, I, I love want, it. I want one. They're so cool. I know. All right, anyway. I'm going to get one. Um, <laughs> to the real questions. Um, <laughs> how long have you been here at ERUCC? I've been here for one year. Okay. And briefly tell us a little bit about your journey that led you here. I It's kind of personal, so I did get permission before I came here today to talk about it. Um, a little over a year ago, I was attending my regular church, and after we were leaving the service and headed to the parking lot, my eldest daughter started crying, and she let her family know at that time that she wasn't straight. And although that wasn't hard for me personally, I was just really concerned that she would lose her faith or not have a church that would love her and support her. And I knew at that point I had to find a church that was open and affirming that would love my daughter the way I do. And we do. Thanks. <laughs> um, and we're glad that you're here. I'm glad to be here. Um, so tell us a little bit about your first Sunday here at ERUCC. What was uh, one significant thing that you remember? That's easy because everybody was just so friendly and so welcoming. I just felt like it was the family right away. It was a really warm environment. Mm -hmm. And when we walked out the door, my daughter at that point was just like, oh, this place is just wonderful. So mm -hmm. it was a great day. Great. Mm -hmm. um, and so how are you currently actively involved in the life of the church? Okay, so I've been here for a year and I, I've tried to jump in wherever I can. Yes, and you have. <laughs> so I help out with the youth group and I've been working with the welcome table. Mm -hmm. I've been helping with the greeters. I had Pride Day with Jen. Yes, that was fun. You've got to go to Pride so Day. So much fun. So much fun. <laughs> um, my husband's been assisting with the building with some of the paperwork and my daughter has been playing the flute as much as they love her. Yes, we love our musicians. Mm -hmm. um, so as a fairly new member, uh, what are some of your hopes um, in the future as to how you would like to be become more involved and more engaged in the life of the church? With the addition to the building, you can think that there's going to be wonderful opportunities for just meals in the community, for lectures, for teaching opportunities. On a personal level, I really want to have those uh, big Thanksgiving dinners with the LGBTQ community so they can have a safe place, they can have a great holiday. Mm -hmm. I also look forward to maybe getting different people from different religious religions and faiths to come together and just have a meal and talk and just share who they are. Wow, that, that would be fantastic. It would be great. Yeah. Um, so what has uh, e finding ERUCC meant to you and your family? Um, it's really been so much for us. I think the basic way to say is that we just found a real community people that we can love and that love us and we can serve and they can serve us it's it's just become a family for us like coming home mm -hmm. yes it's great um so describe uh ERUCC how would you describe it to somebody you know walking on the street that you would meet the first thing they need to understand about ERUCC is that really is open and welcoming. They will take you in your faith journey wherever you are at that point in time. They will love you, be with you, support you. Um, they they don't want to change you. They just want to go through that process with you. It's it's really that simple and yet that big. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, so briefly, th this the first three things that come to mind that you have learned. Uh, about ERUCC since coming here? First thing is social justice and social activities. Get involved with your community, get involved with the world, make things better. Um, the second thing that comes to my mind is what I kind of mentioned before is that it's a spiritual pathway in your life. It's not just yourself personally, but it's your spiritual pathway in your community. And they say here at UCC, 
that um, you don't put a period where a comma should be. So I always think that we're just continuing in our walk and change and growth. And last, which I mentioned before, and I can't stress it enough, is that it's open and affirming. But what you really need to understand with open and affirming is it's really God's way of working with his people. And if you're not open and affirming, you're, you're basically handicapping the body of Christ. Well said. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you for being here today. It's my pleasure, Jen. All right. Thanks. Bye.